In this tutorial, we will see how to use camera command from AutoCAD. So this is the object. I want to create a camera view for this object. So for that, click on the render, render tab. Now here camera uh, panel is not available. So just right click on render and click on show, uh, go to show panels and click on camera. So you will have this camera palette array. So one is create camera and other is camera display. So to create a camera at first you will have to create some reference because for camera you have to give the location of the camera and target point. So for creating a location we will just draw some lines. So just give line command L enter then I will come up front by some distance. I will move to the side by some distance and I will again move up by some distance so I want to put camera at the end of this point so I will just undo and I will give vertical line height ok so vertical line I want to be of 7 seven height here so I will just give 7 and just enter so it has created that vertical line just press escape to come out so this is the point where I want to place the camera so for placing the camera just click on the camera here create camera then he is asking me specify camera location where I want to put the camera so I want to put camera here at the end of this point then he is asking me for the camera target location so where I want to view so suppose I will take the mid of this window line vertical line so and just press the enter so in this way it has placed the camera there and to see the effect of camera so how that view look like you just double click on the camera so it will show in the preview so from here you can control conceptual you want to use conceptual realistic or which type of view you want to use 3d view suppose I will take conceptual and in this way that camera will uh, that camera will show a view like this so we can control the position of the camera just shift press the roller and dra drag for orbit and you can control the location from here just click on this point so in this way you can control the target point so uh, dynamically it is showing the preview there so as you change the target point the view in camera also changes so in this way you can control what is to view you can uh, change this point target point or you can just escape to come out you can from here you can define the from here also you can move the camera anywhere and same way it will dynamically show the view changes so once you receive the desired view just click there so camera will be placed on that location so this is the one thing then other thing is that you just pan it just double click on the camera so it is showing the preview and plus you move to view view tab just click on view tab and just click on properties so you can adjust the properties camera properties in this property panel from this property panel so here you can change the lens so 50 mm is the default lens size so 50 mm signifies the eye view so it is a good lens for indicating the eye view you can change the lens lens length or you can change the period of view here suppose if I make the 100 so it automatically changes the lens uh, so I am it has made the lens size smaller as you make the lens size smaller it will show like a, a view from long long distance so you can either change the field of view or I either you can change the lens length so both are depend on each other so field of if you adjust the field of view lens length will change if you change the lens length field of view will change you can also give the roll angle to the suppose if I say I want to roll by 10 degree so in that way it will be rolled so your this uh, camera is tilted so same way if I want to roll on the opposite side you can do minus 20 suppose so it will roll on opposite side so in this way uh, the default value is 0 degree that means there is no roll so in this way you have to adjust the field of view 
length length or rolled angle as per your requirement and then once you make any uh, all the changes just close the property panel just close this preview and if you want to view that uh, uh, then press escape to come out and if you want to view that view in the your viewport then here you will see that camera one is added so just double click on that camera one so that view is available to you in your viewport so in this way you can use the camera tool and after that you have to render and complete your uh, render from that camera view so that's all we'll stop here thanks for joining